Good morning, students. As I told you that on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I will be taking your English class. So today, I am here with your English class. As you know that Parth Sarathi sir is taking your grammar section, so I will be taking your literature part. So today, I am here with your MCB book, right? A main course book. I know that you don't have your MCB book. That's why I will explain that chapter and I will give you some difficult words. What you have to do, you have to learn. Uh, Firstly, you have to write all the words in your notebook, MCV uh, notebook and then learn that one. You have to learn also, okay, both the things, th uh, this one will be your homework and I will explain the chapter, I will explain the story and after that, what you have to do? You have to make your own question regarding that chapter and you have to write the answer also of that, okay. So let's begin our, that chapter. The first chapter of your MCB book is that you can see here English MCB and this is the class 6, right? It is for class 6 only. Chapter 1, the cranky macaw. The cranky macaw. As always I tell you that firstly you should know the meaning of the chapter. So what is the meaning of the chapter? Cranky. What is the meaning of cranky? Cranky means the weird. What is a cranky means? Weird. Weird means, you know, I don't know, you know in Hindi or not. Weird that means ajeeb. Jo ajeeb behave kare. Okay. So cranky macaw. A macaw means parrot. Macaw means parrot. And it is a macaw is a, that the uh, American parrot. Okay, it is different from that uh, whatever the uh, parrot you have seen that uh, green color and all that. Uh, so Mecca is uh, the American parrot. Okay, I have written already over here that important words. You can say the vocabulary. Vocabulary you have to write down in your notebook, MCV notebook and learn also. The first word is a screech. The first word, and this is from your chapter, the first word is a screech, S-C-R-E-E-C-H. And the meaning of this word is, I have written only in English. If you want in Hindi, then you find out in your dictionary and then write down in Hindi meaning also. The first word, make a loud, high, un loud, high, unpleasant sound. Screech means, make a loud high unpleasant sound okay you have to find out hindi meaning from your dictionary this is also your homework now the second word is parlor the second word is parlor it is not a beauty parlor okay it is a parlor and the parlor meaning is a small room for guests a small room for guests okay the third word is ignored the third word is ignored and the meaning did not pay attention. The meaning of the ignored is did not pay attention, right? Fourth word is tripped. The fourth word is tripped and the tripped means that the stumbled and fell. Fell is that and stumble, uh, fell is that the V2 of fall. Okay, okay friends, now let's start that our chapter. I have told you and I have taught you about the difficult words of this chapter. Now let's go with that the explanation of the chapter. So first what you should know the characters of this chapter. Okay, characters of the chapter of this chapter. The first character of this chapter is Johnny. Johnny was a seller. Okay, Johnny was a seller and he was the first character Okay, the second was the macaw. As you know that I told you that it is, it is a parrot. Okay, the third character is his sister. The, whose sister? Not macaw, Johnny's sister. The third character is Johnny's sister. So, there are three main characters and now we have to just go through this chapter. I will tell you in short what is this story. The story is like that. Johnny was a seller and he was very keen about his job. He loved to see that, uh, he loved to sell, he loved to see all that, the water and all that things. So, he is just th that kind of the person. 
but he is he is he is having one problem and that is that uh, he didn't have many friends he was having the temperament very uh, you can say the aggressive so that that's why he didn't have many friends but he had one friend and very true friend that is mako okay mako was a friend of johnny and both are very much honest kind of the friend where they both love each other very much and what about his sister which kind of the character of her her character is like that that she didn't like mako she never liked that mako but because of uh, her brother she just tolerated that the mako this kind of the story that uh, uh, type of the story i'm telling you now let's start that uh, what is, is the story and what is the main part of the story so uh, johnny was a seller and he lived he used to live with the mako and his sister one day what happened johnny was not at the room and he went uh, outside and that time uh, that her, uh, his sister came to the room and she was just asking about johnny then uh, she ignored mako actually she ignored mako and she was just asking about that johnny when she couldn't find the johnny she just sat on the one uh, chair and she slept okay during that what happened while that uh, she was sleeping that time uh, one thief came into that the room and when the th thief came into the room that time mako was just behind the all the books he just uh, hided himself behind the books so that's why the thief could not see the mako he only saw that the uh, his sister okay so what happened he was just uh, the thief was just taking all that things in his bag and he was doing all that things very silently meanwhile mako was a very intelligent kind of the bird so that's why and he uh, just used to just take out the some sounds like police siren sounds some kind of the english picture he uh, loved to see that the english picture also so that's why he just made one police siren and he just said that police is coming police is coming like that kind of the sound he just he was just making that time thief was very much afraid and he wanted to just go outside and meanwhile that his sister just waken up and she just uh, saw that uh, uh, thief and she 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 was just trying to catch the thief that time thief just fell down and after that she just called the police and when police came into the room and he was that police was also very much astonished that how an old lady could just catch one thief that time mako came outside and he again started making that noise that sound like police siren sounds english movies dialogue also and then after that police understood that because of mako it happened and because of mako he they could just catch the thief so this is the story and this is the main uh, you can say that the in short i have told you the story now what you have to do homework you should just go for your homework okay firstly we should just go for that the what you have learned what you learn from this story so you learn that animals are very loyal right so actually i heard or i very many times just i heard that uh, some students or some the children they just threw and they just throw that the stone on uh, over the dog and any kind of the animal you should just respect and love the animals they are very loyal so this is that the uh, learning part what you you can learn from this story now let's go for your homework now what will be your homework as i told you that what you have to do you have to write down all the difficult words what already i have given you in your notebook and that uh, after that you have to learn also this is the uh, the today homework and the tomorrow i'll give you some questions depending on this chapter and you have to write the answer of that of those uh, questions okay the the two kinds of the uh, homework i will give you depending on this chapter okay after that again we will meet 
next tuesday okay next tuesday we will meet with the next chapter or maybe the grammar section also i can just tell you so till then stay safe stay at your home and focus towards study do your study and do your homework also okay